Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing very well. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ashley Elizabeth and I'm a makeup artist from the UK. In today's video, I am going to be testing and reviewing the brand new Lorac Pro The Artistry Book Chapter 2. This palette looks absolutely stunning. I was lucky enough to receive this palette in PR as I am actually a Lorac Pro affiliate. However, that will not cloud my judgment on this palette at all. So I'm going to give you a super honest review and you're going to see how it works. So I'm going to dive into the palette now. So this is the Artistry Book Chapter 2 from The Rock Pro. It is a updated version of the original Artistry Book palette. The new one has 48 colours with a range of 31 matte shades, 10 pressed glitters and 7 duochrome foils. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into the palette, create a look for you all, see how it works, see what some of the colours are like. So if you would like to see how the Lorac Pro Artistry Book Chapter 2 palette works and how it goes, then please keep on watching. So I decided to have a play with one eye first, as always. And as you can see, we've gone for something super colourful, feeling a little bit festival -y vibes, some summer tropics. So I'm going to show you how I created this now. First of all, I'm going to prime my eyes the same way I do before every single eyeshadow look that I create. And I'm going to use the P. Louise eyeshadow base. This one is in the shade number two. And I'm just using a Doll Beauty DB11 to spread that over the eye. Then I'm just going to switch to a Look Good, Feel Better tapered blending brush just to soften out all them edges. Now we are ready for our eyeshadows. So here she is. This palette is freaking huge. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is this purple shade here called Bad Energy. And I'm going to pop that into my crease. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Morphe M507 brush. Straight off the bat, this pigment looks insane. There is a little kickback in the pan, but... I've mentioned it so many times before, but that doesn't bother me at all. This colour is building up so easy. I'm literally going in with one dot in the pan each time. And the colour's super intense. I wanted to use the purples because purple is a notoriously hard colour to get right in eyeshadow palettes. They are, I don't know why, but they are the most difficult colour to get right. So whenever I test a palette, that has purples in it. I like to give the purples a good go. Once I'm happy with how I've built that colour up, I'm just going to wipe off any excess product on my brush and start blending out that outer edge. And you can see this colour is blending beautifully. We've got a nice light halo of colour around that purple already. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is this one here this deep pink and this is called love letter and again i've got an m507 from morphe and i'm just going to pack this right the way around that purple shade again the pigmentation of this shade is beautiful once again i'm just dusting off any excess product on that brush and I'm going to blend that outer edge. That colour has blended so smoothly too. You might be onto a winner with this one. Then I'm going to switch to a more orangey tone. So I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called So Peachy. And of course, it's another M507. This is more of like a ready orange it's the only thing i think is missing from this palette so far is like a really like more neony type orange and then the final color that i'm going to add into this sunset blend is going to be this neony yellow tone at the bottom 
called self made oops just dropped my palette and for that we're going to switch it up and we're going to take a molly o'brien char char brush this is a really nice tone of yellow i've had a few neon yellows in the past where they've just ended up a bit naff but this one is really cute and it's building up really easy that's another thing with yellows sometimes they can take a good minute before the colour actually builds up but this one is just straight away so now that i've added all of the colours i'm just going to work my way back down all of my stages and rebuild all my colours up so as usual i will fast forward this portion so you all don't get bored So just before I cut my crease, I just want to quickly touch upon these mattes. Sometimes matte eyeshadows can make your eye feel quite dry and they can then patch if you use too many of them. However, this is the total opposite. My eyes feel incredible. These build really nice. You can see that each colour has piled on top of each other really nice and built up in layers so let's move on to carve our crease i'm first just going to get rid of any excess product on my lid using my vaseline and we've got no stainage from our purple shade that is very very good that's not to say that it may not have stained my eyes once I take my makeup off altogether, but usually if something's gonna stain really badly, it would have stained already. So I'm very happy. Then to carve my crease, I'm just gonna take that same P. Louise base as earlier, but this time I'm gonna switch my brush to a House of Beauty CC2 brush. I'm just going to blend off this outer corner with some of that purple shade again. Then for our yellow shade, I'm going to go back in with that neon yellow called Self Made on a Zoeva 234. I'm just going to pack that straight on top of that wet concealer. And I'm only going to take this about a third of the way into the eyelid. You can see how much more neon that yellow goes while it's being pressed on rather than blended on. Then I'm going to switch to our green shade, which is this one here called Acid. And for that, we are using a Doll Beauty DB14. These two together are giving me all kinds of lemon and lime, lemon and lime vibes. And they've blended together so easily that is it for the top of the eye so i'm just going to move on and fill in the underneath using the same sunset blend that we created in our crease so first with a morphe m213 and that shade bad energy then we're going to blend that out with a pencil brush with that pink shade Then grabbing the same brush we used on top for our So Peachy shade. And then tying it all together with a little bit more of that self made. Then for eyeliner, I'm going to take the Barry M High Viz Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Strobe Light. So as you can see from this eye, I've got a touch of glitter on the inner corner and brow bone to act as our highlight. And this glitter is one of the many reasons why I adore this palette. As soon as I seen the brand post this glitter on their Instagram, I went nuts. And it is this shade here called Marshmallow. It's like a sort of, it's white, but has all kinds of different colours reflected in it. It is so pretty and i couldn't do a look with this palette without using one of those pressed glitters so i'm just going to pop down a little touch of the nyx glitter base and i'm going to dip straight into that marshmallow shade oh just look how nice that is over that yellow tone this is going to be so versatile. Then to finish off the eye i'm going to pop on a lash i'm going to use the blinky boot eyelashes in the style sophia 
So that is all for the eyes, but I need to add some highlighter to my face. So I'm actually going to dip into one of the shimmer shades from the palette for that. And to do so, I'm going to take this shade here called Shooting Star. I'm going to use my Molly O'Brien Layla brush. This works so well as a highlighter. The formula of this shimmer is so pretty. It's very creamy, not crumbly at all. I'm just going to take the Morphe Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Love, Love Bite. Then for lip gloss, I'm going to take the Kiko Milano 3D Hydro Gloss, and this one is in the shade number two. And that is today's finished look, guys. What do we think? I think it's turned out very well. My first impressions of this palette are absolutely incredible. I am actually really shook at how good the eyeshadows performed for this palette. They've really amped up the formula of the eyeshadows compared to the first Artistry Book palette. So I am excited to dive in and create more looks with this one. Don't forget, if you do want to shop the Artistry Book Chapter 2 palette, it is now on sale on the Laroque Pro website. I will leave the link in the description box below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos from myself. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!